My name is Tony Corella. I want to welcome you to our kitchen today and uh, we're going to have a little fun uh, with uh, our Mr. Spud Jacket. Uh, I'm sure some of you have been to our website, uh, www.mrspudjacket.com, you've probably seen it. Uh, there are a lot of potato cooking bags out there. Uh, some are a little better and some are a little worse. Uh, we happen to think uh, we do a pretty nice job with ours. But the first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to get the potatoes ready because it's probably going to take, we're going to cook two baked potatoes today. Uh, and it's probably going to take anywhere from six to eight minutes depending. Uh, and these are russet medium sized potatoes. Uh, when you're cooking them in your bag, you cook up to four of these in the bag. Uh, depending on the size, these are about medium size. And I like to use russets, but you can use virtually any type of potato. Uh, they work real well. Uh, what, you, what we're going to do is we're going to wash these potatoes. That's the first thing we want to do is we want to wash them. And uh, so we just go over to the sink here. And, and, uh, I kind of just wash them real good. I scrub with my hands. Uh, you know, I don't use a brush. So it's, it's not that dirty. So I just get, the, get most of the grime off. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to leave them wet. Okay, we want to make sure we really leave them wet. Okay, and towel here. Uh, they're 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 wet. We're gonna, we want to leave them wet. What we don't want to do, what most people do, is uh, they slit their potatoes and uh, put them in the microwave. But what we're going to do is we're going to not we're not going to slice them. We're going to leave them just the way they are, and we're going to wrap them in a, in a paper towel. I like to fold it over a couple of times like this, and then we just kind of roll it up, kind of put it to bed. It's like putting it in a sheet, make it look like a mummy. Okay, we'll do both of these. Like I say, you can cook up to four. I haven't had any lunch today, so I'm going to probably eat both of these. Uh, my wife and her mother went out shopping with our daughter. So and what we're going to do is we're going to put them in the potato bag. And I'm going to tell you, once once these start cooking, I'll start telling you about the potato bag. So what I've done is i put them in. You can see there's a flap here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our microwave. Now, all microwaves are different. And, of course, if you buy one, uh, the instructions are all in the in the, uh, in the Mr. Spud Jacket cook, uh, cookbook. So that kind of looks like this. We're going to fold it over. You can see the flap is quite big, so you can get... You can get up to, uh, you know, here's a acorn squash, and it fits in there nicely, um, and that's also on our recipe book. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to our microwave. Uh, we want to cook at about 1,200 on your microwave. A thousand works, okay. Uh, ours is a nice big microwave. We want to make sure you have a turntable, okay, because we want we want it to go wrong. We want to make sure the turntable is working. And I always put it in with the flap down first, okay. So it's going to go into our microwave. And a lot of times what happens with your microwave, if it's small and it's turning, okay, these little flaps will hang up. So if that happens, just fold them under like that, okay? A couple of rounds and it'll take off just fine. So we've got to let the flap down and the microwave will go. We're going to give it four minutes to start, okay? Four minutes on high and away we go. And four minutes should go by pretty quickly, I hope. So, microwave cooking. Uh, what you're going to get with a Mr. Spud Jacket is you're going to get a great recipe book. And in our recipe book, we have 22 really great recipes. You can, it's, we've got some family pictures in here. It's kind of neat, old Italian family. But you can cook anything from a twice-baked potato all the way up to spaghetti squash. Uh, you, got the, you can do a baked apple. You can do baked pears. This is a great recipe. I really love it. It's a, a quick microwave zucchini. If you're looking for a quick vegetable, I can get up to six of them in the bag. And what I do with them is I take them and I slice them in half, trim both ends, slice them in half, okay, wash them real good, wrap them in your paper towel, okay, make sure you slice them first, when they come out they're going to be hot, and you, you don't want to try to slice them uh, hot, so when they come out, you're going to open up, they're going to be absolutely gorgeous, and what I like to do with them is I drizzle them with a little olive oil, a little uh, Parmesan cheese, a little salt and pepper, and they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, then we also have, uh, let's see what else we got in here, carrots. Uh, these uh, smashed potatoes are really good. What we do is we take a potato, a smaller potato, like say a new potato, uh, or a, a, a Yukon Gold works well, and you cook those potatoes just like we're going to cook them, but you leave them whole. When they come out of the oven, what you do is you want to take a, a plate or something and you're going to smash them with the skin on, okay? You're going to take them and put them in your frying pan and saute them with a little olive oil, however you'd like to do that. So it comes in a great package, okay? It's got all the instructions. Uh, you want to remember that uh, you don't want to leave your microwave cooking bag unattended, okay? Because uh, we have had people call and say it caught on fire in the 
microwave. The only reason it's going to catch on fire is that, and I don't know if you can see it, you can see that the light's on here and it's turning nicely. We're at about two minutes right now. Uh, I'm going to get a plate ready uh, to show you how nice these cut once they're done. And I got the salt and pepper, I got my butter. If you don't have any sour cream, I like to use just some Parmesan cheese. Uh, we're going to let that cook for another minute and a half. Uh, so how did this all get started? Well, I'll tell you how it started. It started with my sister and I, and uh, she, uh, she my, my sister loves to cook. She's also a seamstress. And we were at her house one day and she said, you're not going to believe it, I'm going to cook you a baked potato in six minutes. Best potato you ever had. And I said, oh really? Show me the way. And she did. And it was a great potato. And uh, she said, and, and what she had, is she had bought a pattern at a, uh, at a, uh, some fabric shop and she made it out of uh, a, a colorful uh, dye material, which was fine and everything. And, and I said, well, I said, that's kind of nice. I said, but aren't you worried about the dye uh, coming out of that fabric and getting into the food? Which, uh, by the way, when you cook with those cotton ones, they come out pretty, pretty, pretty wet, okay? Uh, and I said, well, uh, she made a couple and I didn't really care for it. So I said, you know, I started thinking, well, how did they used to ship vegetables back in the days before we had all the refrigeration stuff? You know, you buy rutabagas or potatoes, they ship them in burlap bags because they breathe. So they could put them in and hold them. And I said, well, let's make our bag out of burlap. And she says, well, let's look at that and we tried it. So what she did, and that is my sister's design, we had many prototypes, and she came up with this design so we could have a big pouch, a huge pouch, and uh, with a nice flat, and what this is all natural organic products. It's organic burlap, it's organic cotton, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, and I'm sorry, it's not organic, it's all natural, I don't wanna say something out of here, but it's all natural, undyed product, it has a batting in there that's all natural, and uh, what's nice about this bag is when you see it come out of the microwave, a lot of the cotton bags, are, the bag is really wet and hot. This breathes nicely, so when it comes out of the microwave, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check our potatoes here. Uh, okay, so what do we got? We got four minutes, okay? And it's this, if you look at the potato bag, this side is hot, you see where the potato, and it's very wet, okay? And I kinda just touch it right there and feel them, okay? So, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over now, I'm gonna put it back in, for another four minutes, but I'm going to check them at six, okay? I'm going to check them at, uh, we had it at four, I'm going to check it, I'm going to put it in for two, just so you can see what's happening here, because uh, I don't want to overcook them, and that'll, that'll be six minutes on those two potatoes. So uh, anyway, so what happened was she came up with this design, and uh, it really works well. Uh, you know, you don't have to wash them, but if you do feel that you do need to wash it, we suggest washing them by hand. I would. Uh, other manufacturers they put it in the washing machine and don't use any fabric softeners. Just, uh, you know, some uh, mild soap uh, and wash them and rinse them and just, what, what we do with them after we use them, okay, is uh, it's, it's just a little bit damp. What's, what's nice about it is you can, uh, if you have something, you can just take it, uh, like a pitcher or something, you just put it over that and let them dry out overnight and they dry fantastically. You can do, uh, our recipe book has 22 recipes. There's a whole lot of other things you can warm bread in them. Uh, you can use it for a, uh, you know, a pad and just, uh, you know, set your food on it like that. It's hot, so uh, like I say, it's uh, it's really a great, 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 great item. And you know what? Uh, it's uh, if you're a camper and you have limited space, a kids going to college in their dorm room and they only have is a microwave. Uh, you can cook some really neat things, and like I say, the recipe book, we, we, we have cooked, came up with all these recipes, and they're fantastic. And the other thing we've got going is, if uh, we've got a little contest going right now on Mr. Spud Jacket Facebook, if you want to go there, it's just plug in Mr. Spud Jacket on your Facebook, and uh, we're going to give away, we said we're going to give away one, but uh, we'll see how it goes, and all you have to do is go to our Facebook and uh, sign up uh, and give us a like. Okay, uh, and you don't have to give us a like on a potato bag. If you go to Mr. Spud Jacket uh, Facebook, you're going to see uh, our little quote there is, I love food, you love food. We love to eat food, we love to cook. We're from an old Italian family, and we were born probably with a spoon in our mouth. Uh, my mother was a great, great, great cook, and uh, we just love to eat. And uh, we've got four seconds left, I'm going to take a peek here before we get too far down the road. You know, I think these potatoes are done at six minutes. Like I say, 
I don't want to overcook them, okay? But I'm, they're really hot, okay? So what we suggest you do is, you, you know, you want, to, you want to take a little pot holder because they're going to come out hot, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to take them out like this. Okay, they're done. And you can see the, it's, they came out. Now, look at our bag here. Our bag, if you, if you did a cotton bag, this bag is almost dry. Okay, so it's not wet uh, like most of them. Okay, so here we go. We got a nice, look at the skin. It's just moist and beautiful. Okay, look at that. Wow. Just beautiful potatoes. And you know that skin is just really moist. You know, some, sometimes when you bake them in the oven, you put oil, olive oil on them, you know, they get really dry uh, skin. Okay, so we need a knife, don't we? Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut into that potato and show you how moist it is. Look how nice that cuts. Isn't that great? Yeah. Look at that. You ever seen a potato like that? Your friend's going to be in, impressed with a big steak, huh? Let's get a little butter knife here. Like I say, sour cream, you can doctor these things up. I'm just kind of old fashioned. I like a big dollop of butter on them. Okay. I like to take my good old Parmesan cheese. Put some chives on there. Got a little salt, pepper, not a lot. A little salt. Should have had some stuff ready here, but uh, didn't have my silverware. Hold on, let me get it for you. Okay, if you can see this now, I want you to see how moist and look at that potato. Just breaks up, just fluffy. Look at the steam coming out of that. Huh? And that skin, I, I always eat the skin because it's just great. You know, I just love these baked potatoes. Look at that skin. I mean, it's just, it's just moist, tender. I mean, uh, it's it just, you got, you got to eat the whole thing. Mmm. Moist, great. Mr. Spud Jacket. Comes in a beautiful package. Holidays are coming. Thanksgiving, fall is here. You know, uh, it's a quick and easy item to cook vegetables for your meals. Everybody's busy, busy, busy. It makes a great holiday, Christmas gift, a stocking stuffer. So go to our website, Mr. Spud Jacket, www.mrspudjacket.com. Okay, there's all the information there. It's a great website. We've got rest, all our recipes are on there. Pictures of the food we've cooked. Uh, you can order it right online. Uh, we take all the credit cards and PayPal. So that being said, folks, bon appetit from our house to yours. And then we're going to cook something else on our next segment. It won't be baked potatoes, but it'll be interesting. Have a great day. Thank you and goodbye.